G'day, welcome back. I'd especially like to welcome my new subscribers and I hope you enjoy the content of my channel. If you missed the last video, the new uh, larger, this old Tony tap wrench, there's a link up there now, you go watch that first. Come back and watch this one. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to make another tool holder, uh, indexable tool holder, because for a little while now I've been watching uh, other guys using a tip that has just not been available to me because they don't make them to fit a 12mm hold, tool holder uh, or shank which is what my little machine takes so I've been contemplating for a while you know buying a pack and just making a, a reduced shank holder to fit my machine so follow me over the bench and I'll show you which tip I'm talking about and we'll get on with it over there Alrighty, so uh, these are the tips. Uh, at least I hope these are the right ones. These are a TNMG and they have a, uh, a diff much different grind on them to what I normally use. And like I said, they don't fit in the little 12mm holders because they're, they're much bigger. So I'm going to use a piece of this, which I started making a tool while we're out of once before and then left it, which will fit that in there quite nicely. Like that, I'll machine it off, and uh, and then once I've done that, I will reduce the width of the shank here to 12 millimeters, which is what is what will fit in my machine, and then I will cut it up here and reduce, take a piece out of here, reduce that to 12 millimeters, and we'll mount that up in there, and hopefully I can then get some of the truly glorious finishes that people like Matty from Matty's Workshop gets on his machine. Although, uh, you know, guys that are using these are using factory produced machines, much bigger, much heavier. So whether they'll actually work for me is another story. Now, uh, I want to also make mention that this may be the last video for a couple of weeks. Uh, I've got several things I need to take care of. My visa extension I need to renew, and that can be a real trial in itself. Uh, <laughs> My well, car registration needs renew and that requires sitting around waiting while they inspect the damn thing. And uh, in a different on a health side of things in the last week I've discovered what looks suspiciously like the melanoma I had cut out of my leg on the back of my right arm so I'm gonna to have to go and get that looked at and maybe get it cut out hopefully it won't cost me as much as the bit cut out of my leg did but anyway so uh, we'll get on with this before I have to uh, tackle all of that stuff and uh, see how we go Had some music playing there because A, I had the radio going, and B, I forgot to close the front door. And even if I didn't have either of those things happening, my darling wife come blasting out the front door there at one stage, yakking away to one of her friends. But anyway, uh, there's still a bit more to come off there yet, so I better have another go. Alrighty, for some strange reason, I'm all of a sudden back to almost glorious fly cutter finishes again, even with that 0.2 radius tip on it. Anyway, I've only done three of the sides and I'm not going to bother doing the, this bottom one uh, because um, I probably shouldn't have bothered doing that one either. But I've got to mill all that out of there, so there's no use fly cutting that. And the same goes for this side. It's only a little bit on the end here that won't get milled away. But anyway, so that's that. I'll uh, get on with the next bit. Actually, next thing up, I'm going to get this vice off here and put my new tilting swiveling vice on. Alrighty, slight change of plans. Uh, I was just thinking about the uh, the new tilting vice, and it uh, probably pretty obviously won't have the uh, the degree of stability and rigidity that this one, this other vice has. So I might be better off getting in and machining all this out first, right? Getting rid of all the excess before I set it up to machine these angles in here. So that one there, I'll have to take all that piece off the front, and uh, this one here, I'll machine it in this section here out to 
fit the uh, tip in here. Now, I've left 24 millimetres, so nearly an inch here, because these tips uh, are normally clamped in from the top with a clamp, a bolt-on clamp, but I've bought, so they, it's got a 35 millimetre hole in it, so I've bought some 35 mil torque screws, uh, tip screws, and we're just going to try and screw it on. If that doesn't work properly, then I'll resort to trying to make up a little clamp for it. So uh, I've left some room here to be able to bolt a clamp on. So I'll take everything from, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, everything from there back over till it's 12mm wide and everything from there out off the bottom here till it's 12mm thick that way. I'm going to leave all of this thickness here for a bit of rigidity. I don't know if it'll make much difference but that's what I'm going to do. during the week and he was really slow getting it away this one's got one of the three teeth it's chip on the edge so it's not cutting that well only taking two millimeter depth of cut here Alrighty, I've got one more side to do, but I won't bore you with that. Mind you, it won't take as long, it only took half as long, because I've only got to cut something that's 12mm wide now. Alrighty, so I've done both of those now, and I left them both just a little bit shy of uh, where I wanted it, so I could run this 16mm end mill over it, and clean it up, square everything up, make it nice. Alrighty, uh, I'll get that out of there and deburr it and put the uh, stop back on here so that I can go to the exact same spot when I want to do the other edge. Well, viewers, there we have it. Uh, that's a <laughs> fair chunk of the machining done. So it's actually no noise Sunday today, so I'm going to stop and have the rest of the afternoon off. So tomorrow I shall fit up the, uh, the swiveling tilting vise and we will machine that corner off and across here for the tip fitting. Alrighty, so I've uh, stuffed around with this thing for quite a while this morning. Getting it all set up and ready to rock it. <laughs> Spend a bit of time filing this slot on this one out a little bit because I couldn't get it down to get this level. But uh, if you're wondering how, uh, how rigid it is, I just took a five millimeter deep cut across there so that I don't have to, because I can't wind it over this way far enough to uh, to start. So I just wanted to, uh, you know, clear it out a bit. But anyway, so this is a uh, 2.26 millimetre deep cut. Just looking for my long nose scroll down the here, still there. reasonable finish in that bird here I'm not all the way back to the line I mark but I want to check it oh, hot, 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 damn hot. I think I might leave it where it is I think yes I will all right so now I'm gonna to have to reset this up again uh, it's a bit of a pain actually the way I designed this because I have to tilt it up to be able to get to this bolt in underneath here maybe I should change it for a hex head so I get a spanner in there because uh, I spent forever actually setting this up but for, to machine this off it won't matter if it's a little bit cockeyed. But anyway, so uh, I'll swivel it around and then we'll machine this edge here off. really should radius this off because then I could put a scale around it and I want to piss fight around doing this. I think that'll be close enough for what I want to do there. Right, and that should drop down to just about bang on zero degrees now. Because I had to file this one out and uh, it's only just fit in there and that's all. So if that's all the way down, it should be 
pretty much sitting on zero or no worse than maybe one degree or something this won't matter what I'm about to do here lock everything up so nothing can move See down there. And some light on the situation. Ugh. Just my little ring light didn't shit itself. That would have made life easy. Take three mil out of it. I think it looks reasonably well lined up. Have another look in a second. See, we might bring you over the other side. Got a wee small problem. <laughs> that just hit that. So all I'll have to do is lift it up and pull the uh, pull the bit out a bit more. I won't bother uh, making you sit through that. I'll bring you back uh, shortly. All right. So to finish that off, I think I'll get out a normal uh, normal eight mil, end mil, and uh, just clean that up a bit. But you don't need to watch that. Oi, someone call me. Oi, I'm waiting on a couple of deliveries, and that's one of them coming now. Right. So yeah, I won't uh, wait. You watch that. I'll just clean it up, and then we'll pull it out and have a little look. Well, viewers, I think we can call this uh, tilting, swivelling vice of mine a raging success. Just notice there's a little digging mark in there. But anyway, this fits in there the way I want it to. But once again, I'm about to come to a screaming halt because I'm waiting for something. Uh, I didn't have a three and a half millimeter tap to, for this screw for in here. So I'm still waiting on that. I do believe it's going through customs at the moment, which means it's still a day or so away, maybe two. But anyway, that's, that's sort of that now. So I want to get the tap, I'll drill and tap a hole in there and, uh, see, and then we'll try it in the lathe and see how it goes. At this point in the video, I'd like to thank my patrons for the continued support. It's greatly appreciated. If you'd like to become a patron, there's a link down in the description. You can sign up down there and toss me a couple of dollars every month. If you don't want to become a patron, there's always buy me a coffee. And there's a QR code on the screen there. You can scan that. Or there's always that thanks button down there. Well, viewers, uh, it's taken a few days longer than I thought for these taps to arrive. And they finally got here. And once again, for my long-time viewers who would have remembered the last time I was making well not the last time but quite a while ago and I was quite I was crook at the time and I didn't really feel it doing anything the bastard sent the wrong thing well I've done it again I ordered M3.5 got two M3s but as luck would have it when I ordered the uh, screws which I could get locally a week or so ago I ordered both M3s and M3.5s and uh, an M3 will pull down in here no problems a little bit loose in the hole which is a bit of an issue but the tapered head would should hopefully uh, pull it up against the back like it should but I only got eight millimeter long ones not ten mil long ones so we'll see how it goes but anyway I'm not gonna sit around for another week and a half or however long these took to get here waiting for them to send the right bloody things so I'll just do that as uh, M3s and if they don't work out then I'll have to make myself a little clamp to clamp the things with but anyway so I'll get on with uh, drilling and tapping then Alrighty, so uh, that worked out pretty well, that um, that 3mm one, that pulls it up nice and tight. I haven't actually got my Torx bits out, I lent them to a neighbour early this morning, I haven't come back yet. I don't have anything to fit that at the moment, so it's just nipped up with the next one down. Seriously thinking about cutting that off. Uh, now before I put it in the lathe to, uh, to try it out, I think I want to try and blue this first. So I'll get it all blued, I won't bore you with that, and then we'll get it in the lathe and we'll give it a whirl. Alrighty, so it's the moment of truth. Now I've already faced that off to uh, to get this centered, so we'll see how we go.
Hello, glorious finishes. Righty, that was a 0.2 cut, didn't take all that off. So let's uh, let's try something a bit deeper, a 0.4 cut. Didn't like it when it got to 0.6, but uh, I'm impressed. That's a bloody nice finish, that beautiful. Alrighty, so uh, I think we can call this tool a raging success. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up and uh, smash that like button. And I'll see you all uh, in a week or two, maybe. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.